Hey there guys, today we are going to be, I don't know, starting a new series w along with the fact that this is actually my comeback video after a few years that I've been not filming. So yeah, I'm going to be starting a series called, How Broke of a College Student Are You? And this is how you do zombie makeup by being a broke ass college student. Enjoy! Alright, now we start with a face, any face this face in particular right now but you're watching this so you might want to follow so yeah we're actually just gonna do a clawed out face because I'm lazy like that now you need loose powder and glue that's it that's it put the powder in any vestibule that you want I don't know put it in an ATM and yeah Glue, 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 glue. I actually use the ratio one by one. Now, don't Naruto your chopsticks like I did. Actually, you don't have to use chopsticks. You can use any other disposable material that you want because you're gonna put glue on it and you don't want any glue on your foot. Then yeah, that's a double chin. Okay, now take any liner that you have or anything that can mark your face with and then draw all of the marks that you want on your face or body so yeah just do that do what I'm doing if you want to moving on to the neck and I break my eyeliner. Yep, let's just cry. Don't you, don't you waste that. Use it. There we go. Alright, I was actually not happy with my mixture because it was too thick. So I added a little bit of water, just a little bit. And I just accidentally shown how much of an Asian I am because that was a teacup. Yep. Stir, stir, stir. Now that's the mixture. Alright, now you put this on your face. See where I'm putting it? Outside of the shapes that I just created on my face. The, the point of this white mixture is actually to stick on a little bit of toilet paper. There we go. Toilet paper. And yeah, this is gonna false a scab on your face which is what we want because we just got mauled by a bear or something or a zombie I don't know I don't even yeah there's no consistency in what I'm gonna yep there's no consistency in the words I'm using to describe this anyways continue on with the chopstick that you just used for your ramen earlier and go nuts So actually, you can use other things on here and you can use cotton balls, pull apart some cotton balls and stick that to your face using the same mixture or you can use cornstarch instead of loose powder and there's a fly, yep. And uh, you can actually use gelatin for this, that's really good. Actually for the gelatin, you can do like all the scab marks on a spare sheet of like rubber silicone molds like those mats not molds and yeah you can shape it there and then stick it onto your face but that I feel like that's in for an another video so yeah but I'm pretty sure there's a video already of it on the internet Yep, pick apart that one ply toilet paper and just stick it onto your face and yeah, watch a movie while you're doing it. As I go along, I actually smooth out the edges so that it's not all clumping together and yeah, look at that. Jump. Yikes, 
That's disgusting. All right. And some more tissue paper. This is, again, this is actually getting a bit repetitive at times, but hey, if you want to look cool for Halloween, then you have to endure this. As you go along, don't stick to toilet paper and then put some mixture on it because it'll just fall apart on your skin and just gets onto your uh, skewer thing and it, it'll just make your life worse. See that? I used the flat edge of the chopstick to smooth out the outer layer so it looks more scabby and you know protruding out of my skin and actually looks like someone mauled me. Right now I'm picking at it because the tissue paper is actually inside of the cut that I want. Now I take this cranky electric fan thing, no it's not electric, I'm cranking it, and use it in vain on drying my face. Yep. And then I find this really handy dandy electric fan. Right now actually you, you can't see that but I'm doing my eyes. Well, you didn't see it the first time. I actually just primed my eyes there. Yep, and right now since I didn't want to waste time that I was using on drying my face, I decided on doing my eye makeup because I wanted to look glamorous for this zombie slash bear attack tutorial. No eyebrows, no problem. You're just at home. Using my concealer, I know this is lighter than my actual skin tone. I bought this years ago. And yeah, I'm just dabbing it and dab dab dab. Dabbing it onto all of the white parts on the uh, scabs on my face and then just to cover it up because it's I'm, I'm not Casper, I'm not white at all. I mean, I'm whiter than this concealer. What? No. I mean, my skin is tanner than this concealer I'm using already. So I'm far from tasty. Yep, just cover up all of those white bits. And you're good. Next up, you're gonna take some black shadow and then you're gonna create some, of course, shadows onto the scab so that it has more dimension. Yep, this is all artsy stuff that a, a makeup artist actually has to know because how do you create art without having the knowledge about art? Think about that. Yep, just keep on adding those black shadows. Use a brush, use your fingers, I don't care. As long as it gets the job done, you're good. Now actually I'm just taking some pink eyeshadow and then dabbing it onto the outside and sometimes inside of the scabby, sore wound thing on my face. Then just creating some irritation marks because that's what happens when you get mauled in your face. Now I'm taking some brown shadow, any brown shadow that's darker than the concealer on my face, and just darkening it up so that it doesn't look like white things on my face. Yep, my camera stopped recording and I actually failed to notice. I just actually took some matte lipstick here. You can use cream, you can use anything else. Just make it red. Now I'm taking my black pencil eyeliner and then I'm just blackening up the scabs on the outside of the red just so it looks a bit more realistic. And yeah, actually, 
I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, that is the look that I'm able to conjure up with just things in my house and in my makeup kit. So I know that it's not perfect, but it's what uh, you can do with what you have. This has been fun actually. I'm totally going to do this on uh, Halloween and it's going to be really really fun scaring all of my friends and family. I uh, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!